I'm gonna shave. So there's no doubt that you can make money freelance writing online. Unfortunately, I know a lot of people that dove into it too soon and wound up failing and then going back to work at like Walmart. If you're new and you're just beginning any kind of freelancing career and you have a job right now, I would suggest you hold on to that job at least until you figure out this is what you really want to do. First, you want to make sure that you're able to supplement your income. For example, when I started writing, I was working full-time at the uh, school district as a network technician, making $8.40 an hour. So supplementing my income wasn't all that difficult. And that's the whole gist of it, is to make sure that you're able to replace your job before you actually quit it. The second thing you need to do before you quit your job is make sure it's something that you want to do. Not everybody's cut out to be a freelance writer, and there's nothing wrong with that. I've seen a lot of people who had a knack for fictional writing who tried to write for clients and it's not the same. They wound up hating it and then getting screwed in the long run because they went ahead and quit their regular jobs. After a couple of months, they got burned out relatively quick and decided it wasn't for them. And there's nothing wrong with that, really. Just some people can't handle doing constant content. And essentially, that's all you're doing as a freelance writer online is writing consistently for people that are paying you. I'm about to hit 1 million words this year. That's a lot of content. The third thing you want to do before you're quitting your job is to make sure that you're able to adapt to the lulls. Now there's going to be some days where you make absolutely nothing, but then there's going to be others where you're like making a ton of money all at once. You need to make sure that you're able to adapt to those lulls and supplement what you're losing out on. For me, when I first started, I was doing text broker and writer access at the same time for the first two or three months before I started expanding into other stuff. So if there wasn't work on text broker, I would check writer access. At any one point, I would say I was checking three or four sites every day to make sure that I was consistently keeping myself busy because I needed to bring in the extra money that I would make from the school district. So how can you tell when you're ready to quit your job? I would suggest the first thing you do is track your income over a period of three months. Kind of long, I know, but hear me out. Three months will give you enough time to create an average of your income every week. That's including the lulls. So like if on Monday you don't make nothing, but on a Tuesday you make $100. That's averaging 50 bucks a day. And the longer you create this average, the more accurate it becomes. So if you're consistently able to surpass your income after three months, or for the whole three month period, then I would say go ahead and quit your job and write full time. Another method that'll tell you that you're ready to quit is if you have the right mindset for it. A friend of mine on YouTube, Chris Desatop, he has a great video on making sure you have the right mindset for text broker and I cannot support that video more. Because it does, it takes a certain type of mindset to succeed in any freelance really. If you look at it negatively, you're gonna have a negative experience. It's all about being positive and making sure it's something you wanna do. Like I said, I've seen writers start off two or three days into it and then give up. So you need to make sure that you have the right mindset to do writing non-stop. I've been writing content since 2008. I've been doing it professionally since 2012. And I have produced thousands of articles for clients. And that's okay for me. But that doesn't mean that's okay for you. Which, again, isn't a bad thing. It just means that it's not right for you. At which point you can try other freelance things like uh, e-commerce or affiliate marketing, blogging, all those other things that are out there. My point is, is that you don't want to give up a sure thing income for something you're not sure about. Another point I want to make is to make sure that you're professional enough to do this job. I've seen a lot of writers who treat their clients like crap and they don't get the work. When you start treating the clients like crap, word spreads around, you don't get enough articles. And that's not just including text broker, that's like outside um, like if you try to market yourself on social media, especially, you're branding your name. And if too many clients have a negative experience about you, it's going to spread out to everybody. If there's one thing you're guaranteed about on social media is that negative news spreads like wildfire. You need to be professional no matter what you're doing. So before you jump into freelance writing online, which I promise you can make quite a bit of money at, make sure you stabilize before you quit your job. Because if it's something that you don't want to do, you're going to wind up losing out in the long run.